Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Anasia Builds! Woo! Today we're going to be starting a new project since we finished our Temple of Serenity. Um, as you can see, I have... it looks a little different in the previous episode. I've switched shader packs to Silder's shader pack. And look at that blur. Isn't that so cool? I really like the way that it... whoop, getting a little bit of glitching. Uh, that it gives you that short depth of field. Uh, so I think that's going to work really well for this series, so I'm going to go ahead and use that for now. I found myself a little dead forest which is surrounded by another biome. I'm not sure what that is. But I think this is going to be a really good place for our next project. Now what I'm thinking about building here is actually some ancient ruins. I would like to do some really cool like stone ruins. I was thinking about uh, this place that I have been to called Inch Abbey in Northern Ireland. Uh, I visited there once, when I, or twice I guess, when I was younger. And super cool, really cool place. Uh, and even though that's obviously it's Ireland so everything's really green, I kind of wanted to get that same sort of worn ruins, like an old abbey that used to be in its prime but has since worn away. So I plan to go ahead and do that here, and I thought instead of doing it in a big green place, I have other ideas for kind of a more green scenario, and I think this would work better with the sort of abandoned look for it to be in a dead forest. So anyway, okay, so let's get started, shall we? Uh, I still have all my materials from the other place. Let's go ahead and put those back. Now, this is going to be mostly out of stone, so I'm just going to be, you know, maybe we can even use bedstone. Bedstone? <laughs> Bedrock. <laughs> that would be funny. Bedstone. Um, yeah, maybe we can even use some bedrock, but we're mostly going to be working with stone for this one, and this mossy stone is going to be really handy. And the mossy stone bricks and the cracked stone bricks. Let's use that instead of gravel. Okay, so this should be a good starting place. Now, I'm thinking I'm going to have kind of this main structure here and then maybe like a little secondary nook over here. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, again, I haven't really fully thought it out, so it's going to take some experimentation. Oh, I just love that blur. Look at that. It looks so nice. Oof, so nice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with some terraforming, getting this thing cleared out, and then I will chime back in once I have a space kind of laid out and I've started kind of structuring it out. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we've got our basic structures laid out where we're going to have our buildings. I don't want these to be quite symmetrical. I know in the last, in the temple, things were pretty symmetrical, so I kind of want that to be a little bit different now. So now I'm going to start coming in here and focusing on this main, uh, main area. And so first, I kind of want to just start by building up this wall. Um, but again, like I said, it's supposed to be as if this thing has been kind of degraded, you know, it's broken away. Maybe this tree has kind of grown over, so this thing is actually not even going to come all the way up. But we could just have it. Oof, I love that light, too. Look at that. The only thing I've noticed that I don't really care for about this texture pack so far, or not texture pack, uh, shader pack is that it, whenever it gets nighttime, it gets really dark really fast. It just kind of like instant black. At first I thought something had happened to my computer and I was like, oh no, what's happening? But it's just, just the sh shader pack. It's just how it be. Okay, so I think something like this will probably work. I'm gonna go ahead and lose that one branch. And let's go ahead and bring that in there. Ooh, I'm like stuck. Oh, there we go. I might actually remove that one as well. Yeah, that, that works pretty good. So let's go ahead and have this like that. That way, you know, maybe it was once this big arch, grand arch thing. 
but it has since kind of crumpled a little bit. But we want to have now in, let's see, in Inch Abbey there's these three windows that are pretty cool. Now I don't know if we could fit three here, but we could do two at least as far as getting kind of those tall windows. Let's see. Yeah, we could just do two of them like this. Kind of like that if we want. I not sold on this yet because they look a little chunky. I mean, maybe having some stairs will help that. Do we want cobblestone? Let's try cobblestone and the stone brick. What else do we got to work with? We've got some mossy cobble walls. I wonder, can you... Oh, that's actually kind of cool. No, we might not want to do all of those in mossy, but... Mosser. I always think of... There's this movie... Oh, what movie is that even? Oh, You've Got Mail. That's what it is. And the guy says that he's going to use like an air freshener or something because it makes his apartment smell mossy. And I always think of that whenever I'm... Think of the word mossy. Now, you know, maybe let's try it without the walls and just have it like that. That's not bad either. I mean, it's not as pointy as I want it to be. But another option would be just to have it too wide. I think that would actually give it the Inch Abbey feel better. So let's actually build this up and move this over. Because then I think we could even possibly fit three here. So we'll have one and then two. And then three. Yeah, I think that'll look good. Now the top part of this might be open because it got crumpled down. Yeah, that'll work. And then let's use the let's try this actually. And I'm not going to do this all in stone. This is just kind of for basic layout right now. Let's get this here. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to work well. And then we could even have that still be there. Yeah. And then we'll go ahead and do some there too, as if those broke apart. And then let's go ahead and bring in some of these guys. What does that look like? Ooh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I think that those bricks are really gonna give this a nice look. I wish they had mossy stairs. That would be super nice. But that is okay. Yeah, so I, whenever we went to this, to Inch Abbey, it's actually like quite large. These windows were huge to where I could like sit on one right here and it was just this little kind of tiny-ish person in this big old window. It was really cool. And, you know, I think as I think about it too, they were pretty high off the ground, where the windows were. So I may either take this down. I might kind of do some more terraforming. I think the volume might be a little loud. No, we're okay. So I might pull this back a little. I mean, I like to think that the land has maybe changed since this used to be, or from what it used to be. And actually, maybe these ones down here are all kind of mossy. And then I may even take it down a little bit more. Have kind of a little inset in the ground. Like so. Yeah, I think
think this is going to look nice. Whoop. Whoop. Sometimes I can't place it in box. Yeah, this is coming along good. This is good. Ooh, and look at that light shining through it. That's really nice. Yeah, this is going to look good. Let's put a moss there and a normal. Let's build up this arch here. Uh, I may go ahead and put in... Maybe not. Maybe this guy is... Oh yeah, actually that's a cool idea. To go ahead and have some variation in that. So that looks a little bit crumpled that way too. Yeah, that's good. Now the sun's starting to set, so it's probably going to get that instant dark here in a minute. <laughs> I'll have to reset it. I want a moss there, moss there, and one there. And this will be brick. Could actually leave a little something there, or perhaps make that a stair, make a little inset. If those rocks have maybe crumpled out a little bit, that's kind of a cool idea. Actually, we'll do this across all of them. Oh, there's the mossy there, but uh, maybe we could just leave it like that. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so this is coming along. We're getting some good, a good look, I think, with this structure. Now I'm also going to come back and probably add in some vines and stuff. Have some vegetation that's kind of invaded. Let's see what the cobblestone looks like too. Uh, it's so nice just having the brick, but I wonder if we need to mix it up a little. Let me get that in the corner. Maybe we can kind of mix this up a little. Have some variation. Now there should be this wall here which I'm going to kind of let it go like that and then kind of come back upwards as if this wall was still kind of here and that corner is gone. Now the ceiling is going to be completely fallen in I think for the most, or at least for the most part so I haven't quite decided whoop, if we want to We want to include some of that still. Might have a little hole here too. That sounds like a good idea. Give it kind of a give it that worn look. Okay, this is working well, I think. Let's get some mossy cobble in here. And I like to think that back in the day, they didn't completely level out. I mean, maybe this is just totally derpy of me to think this, but that they maybe didn't completely level out their buildings, their, the ground, before they started making their buildings. So we'll kind of leave it a little bit moving with the land and stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and inset some stairs here. And actually, let's put some right there, too. And then here... Whoops. And then let's put some over here. Let's get this on the other side. Still getting used to the whole flying thing. <laughs> but it's coming along. Okay, this is looking good, I think. Let's put that there. 
And actually, I don't like that. Let's change that back to, but let's make it a mossy. And then this could be a stair. Yeah, that way it looks, actually that looks a little too uniform over here. I'm going to place that with a mossy. That helps a little. I think this should probably go back to being that. Yeah, there we go. All right, it's going on well. I'm thinking, let's see, and we'll probably go ahead and bring in some actual cobble. I like to think that some of these guys are cobble because it's kind of crumpled a little bit or something. So we'll put in some of that, but try to get it in the more worn places. So let's actually put some there. Yeah, that's coming along. That's good. That's good. Let's put some up here. And then in this hole. Actually, let's just have it there in the hole. Rather than up here. And maybe here as well. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So we're getting our inch abbey. It's coming along. Let's go ahead and put some stairs in there. Uh, no, let's put it up here. Yeah, that's good. Again, we're trying to go for, you know, no, aim, go away from symmetry. Really try to make it look like it all just worn, wore away, wore away, wore away. Make it look worn, old, decrepit. bottom one says mossy. Kind of like that idea. I think it works pretty well. Now over here, let's see. I think I'll have this kind of streamed down a little bit, but that it'll be a little more gradual. Let's get some stairs on it. And this will be a little bit of a drop there. And then it'll kind of gradually open and a little gap there yeah like that and then we'll come in and put in some stairs and some mossy cobble and normal cobble so let's go ahead and actually make this mossy oops sometimes I break blocks that I don't mean to break that mossy and It does look like I got this little these bats coming out of these caves to keep us company, but I think it kind of fits with this <laughs> sort of abbey. It could almost be haunted, you know, with the uh, I was thinking about you know keeping it level, but now I'm not so sure. Now I'm curious about let's uh, let's just maybe exaggerate it a little bit more. That way it at least looks a little more unbalanced. Uh, that looks derpy. That looks really silly. So silly. There we go. I think that will help. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Now we need some cobble over here. So let's make you cobble. Actually, oh, I need to remember to use these walls. Yeah, that's, that's really cool, because it really adds to that falling apart look. Let me bring some of these guys around. Oh, and there's the mossy wall. That green is, like, kind of crazy, though. I don't know if I like it. But maybe we could do, like, a, this. Yeah, that could work, as long as we mix it up. I think it'll be okay. Have it be like that. Let's go ahead and start on this right side. This will be a little bit of a shorter little build because this shouldn't be quite as complicated as the last one, and it's just not as big. 
Okay, since that one kind of dipped down and came back up, I want to have this one still be pretty high. And I've got that cobble. Maybe we bring this up, actually. That way we can have that match line up a little better, and we can bring this up that way. Oh, let's actually make those mossy as well. Or maybe your mossy cobble. Yeah. No, that looks stupid. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, let's go ahead and put in some... Now these need to be mossy. I'm really bad at placing blocks. A builder who can't build properly. Oh. Well. Nature. It's a natural disaster, right? And then, oh, what I did here with this layout is I'm just going to leave this corner out altogether, almost as if maybe this didn't used to be here. Maybe the water kind of broke through the earth and created that opened up that little cave and stuff, so I like the idea of that having not really necessarily been there before. Let's put some stairs on it. And then maybe a cobblestone wall. Yeah, that's good. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put another cobblestone wall there. And then let's get in here with our normal bricks. to let's leave that open yeah let's do the same thing there where those corners have kind of fallen out here's another tree so it'll have that be a stair step actually and then we'll kind of let this fall downward a little bit and then we need it to... Uh, maybe we don't want it to fall downward because then it looks starts to look too much like the other side. Let's get our mossy in there. Yeah, so we'll have it stay up here at least this high. And we'll have this kind of gradually go down. Or maybe it'll be a sudden drop. That's kind of a nice idea put some actually stairs on this side and let's actually put some even in here as if those kind of fell out and let's put in some cobble wall and make this cobble and need a little more cobble so let's put some here. Let's make it mossy and have a wall above it under that branch. Uh, that looks a little weird. Kind of weirdly disjointed. Whoops. Okay. I don't know. I don't... I can't decide about this mossy cobble. It really stands out a little too much almost. Maybe we'll go without the mossy cobble. I'll leave it for now, but I might go back and remove it because I think it might just be a little too much. Let's get some cobble there and even a cobblestone there. And then we need a little bit of this to be mossy. That way it can be properly spread. Let's leave that off, actually. And then, let's have this be stair step. And have that be a little ball. Alright, that's coming along pretty good. This is going quite a bit faster than the previous one. I think that's going to be it for this episode, so tune in to the next one to see more progress on our Inch Abbey. Um, and thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.